My name is Harriet, and I'm here to talk about a very exciting project that we're doing for SAM and QFS. We call it Intelligent Storage for HPC. So Sun's advanced HPC data management uh, products include QFS today as a SAN file system. It has high performance, extremely high performance for streaming I.O. Has a transparent user interface, production ready, very high quality. It is coupled with the Sun Storage Tech Storage Archive Manager, which we call SAM. SAM is policy-based automatic data migration and protection. It has full device streaming, and that's really due to the high performance nature of the QFS file system. It supports tiered storage. Very exciting news for us is we opened SAM and Q. With SAM, it's the first HSM uh, to be opened. Uh, we opened this in March. We just did another drop. It's actually in the Mercurial. Uh, our plans are to post SAM and Q 5.0 development code. So we are developing in the open, and we're actually very anxious to build our community. We had already opened LibSAM, which is the interface or APIs to manage SAM. So shared QFS today has a large existing customer base. It's been shipping since 2002. It's a multi-node file system that targets large uh, enterprises, grid, and HPC. Our clients run on Solaris, that's Spark, x64, x86, and we also support Linux clients, being Red Hat and SUSE. Our metadata server runs on Solaris, but it's Spark and the x64 platforms. We have high availability with Sun Cluster. But the, one of the most important uh, part of QFS is that it has the built-in HSM. We have at Sun, the only worm functionality, which is actually being used by quite a number of businesses uh, to support their compliance. Shared QFS currently supports 256 clients, but the project that I'm gonna tell you about is we will be supporting thousands of clients. This is our SAN file system today, multiple clients up to 256. We have metadata server and uh, failover metadata servers, but you can see that SAM is fully supported with the robots and tape drives. Shared QFS customer benefits. We have data consolidation with SAN file sharing, multiple node reader writer access. Here's a quote from HBO. By the way, if you, uh, HBO is coming to you by way of QFS. All of HBO programming, real time, just uh, play out is QFS. Here's a quote, provided the scalability to store and manage large files created by program link video with the performance necessary to meet HBO's demanding throughput goals. As you know, QFS was developed actually back in the late 90s uh, for a, a very classified government uh, customer. This customer is uh, data capture and required very real-time performance. We currently today are holding up that customer and they achieve 96% of the channel with QFS. And this is 365 days a year. Uh, this is not just uh, a benchmark. It provides the performance and scalability. We tune the file system to the application achieving that near raw I.O. performance. It scales linear with the hardware and ramps up as you add hardware. And of course, shared QFS gives you that parallel processing. And SAM, they are always to provide that automatic data protection that people so require on their data. Up to four copies. So here is shared QFS certified with Sun Cluster we are very much positioned in quite a number of sites with Oracle Rack. 
We, uh, of course, have the high availability with standalone QFS, with the HA uh, NFS, but really, our Oracle Rack uh, sites are very, very exciting. It runs on shared QFS and has Sun Cluster for high availability. Oracle has actually certified 9i, 10g, and just recently 11g. Uh, the shared QFS license is free for this configuration. And the really, really exciting thing, uh, QFS is really known for streaming I.O., very high performance, like I said, near raw performance. However, on our Oracle rack, we are achieving transactional performance that matches raw also. Now, I've talked about SAM. SAM is a storage and archive manager, and this is providing the data protection. Your file system is not a scratch file system. It is fully protected with SAM. Our media can be disk, tape, or optical. We support local and remote copies. And our classification to group the data is very strong. You can group that data with path, owner, group, size, wildcard, and last access. Our media format is TAR. And this is an open format. It was the best decision we ever made to, to write in an open format. There's no vendor lock-in here. But one of the other fallouts that's very good about TAR is SAM is extremely good for small files because we're containerizing those small files into a large TAR file so that we can stream those tapes. The last thing you want to do is stop a tape. We keep all data available, but not on high-cost high storage. So that data moves across those tiers of storage according to access. We have on-demand transparent file retrieval. And most important, we're continuously backing up your data, continuously protecting your data. And this has no, applic the application doesn't have to do anything. This is completely automatic. For our policy-based SAM processes, we transparently archive from the disk cache with time-based archiving. We manage the disk cache with a high and low threshold and keep that uh, uh, based on policies. And we automatically stage that data back from the media on access, although we have options to pre-stage. And we have options to bypass the disk cache and go directly to the application buffer. And of course, we're recycling our media by repacking it. Now, you heard a little bit from Peter uh, Bajonic about the data mover. We are at TAC, we're at ARCS, uh, we're at uh, KISTI. This is using SAM as a long time retention and archive with a data mover where uh, the data is, we actually install our Linux client on a Lustre uh, Linux client and, and we access the data directly without going over a network. And this gives very high performance. Chris Wood will be talking more about this architecture. In the TAC, we have five storage tech 8500s. Uh, this is the large uh, robot, uh, 48 of the T10K disk uh, tape drives, and uh, very uh, uh, the storage tech 6540 RAIDs. Most important about SAM is our archives are open. Our media format is not proprietary. So your files can be recovered from those archives written by SAM, even without SAM, because you can read them. The most important thing about an HSM is the metadata about the data is also on the archives. If you should happen to lose your metadata dumps, you can still recover your data. OK. Now, I'm going to go past this and talk a little bit about how we're horizontally scaling SAM QFS for HPC. We are going to be supporting object-based storage. This is moving our allocation to our storage node. Some of the other features under development that I'll just go briefly on are metadata journaling, SAM performance. We're supporting a sideband MySQL database for fast queries for SAM data. We'll be supporting rolling upgrades, online grow and shrink, and some of the other features here. But I want to really jump into our scalability project. And this is called intelligent storage. 
We are enhancing QFS to support intelligent storage. With our intelligent storage support, we will move into thousands of clients. We're targeting Suns Commodity JBUD storage, but it also works with uh, enterprise RAID storage. We will continue to support our QFS SAN block-based file system, along with our object-based file system, will support both of those two types of file systems, and most important is SAM will be supported on both of those file systems. Our space allocation is done in parallel in the storage, and this allows our bandwidth to scale up. That knowledge of the data is pushed out to the OSD devices, so we can do better resource utilization, pre-fetching, uh, uh, and also giving quality of service. Our current roadmap is to include releasing shared QFS with object-based storage end of this year in an open uh, Solaris HVC distro. So some of those features that will be there in, of course, our metadata caching is full supported on the client, so our metadata ops, we've measured over 185,000. This includes opens, removes stats. Our storage, we support storage pools to group like storage. Storage pool is completely selectable. You can have fiber channel disk and SATA disk in two different pools, and we'll stripe around only uh, liked storage. You can set the depth and the width. We support paged and direct I.O. in our clients. And of course, we support ACLs, clients, um, quotas, uh, F-locks, failover. We really are a POSIX parallel file system with built-in archives. With this project, we're supporting our DMA for InfiniBand, so we'll be supporting ICER, Initiator, and Target, and this will give us the speed uh, that we require for this cluster. This is a picture of our uh, scalable QFS using OSD-based storage. Our clients, our metadata server, SAM fully supported, uh, writing over a high-speed InfiniBand network to our object-based storage. We will be running QFS in the uh, clients and on the object storage. <coughs> Here's the ICER over InfiniBand, which gives us our RDMA support, zero copy. So we're bypassing all of that iSCSI stack. We are standard, we still have the iSCSI manageability, but we uh, know up a lot of that overhead that comes along with iSCSI with our RDMA ICER project. So here's the components of our project. We have shared QFS enhanced to support the ANSI standard uh, OSD protocol. We have a new file system type. We have a new device driver. And we have iSCSI enhanced for ICER DMA. This is on the initiator side. On the target side, we have iSCSI target enhanced for the ICER RDMA. We have a common multi protocol SCSI target calls Comstar, a T10 OSD LUN provider, and then most important, we have object QFS file system, allocators only, no namespace, and as a new file system type, which gives us our speed. Our open Solaris projects, all of these projects are being developed in the open, everyone on that previous page, and here's a list of uh, the website. Future, looking out, PNFS is very important for Sun, is to support the PNFS with the object layout, which can talk directly to our object-based targets. I want to uh, end here by saying you're all welcome. We're having a BOF on uh, Wednesday, June 18th from 3 to 4, and we'd like you to come, feel free to ask a lot of questions and, and deep dive on a lot of the stuff that we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions for uh, Harriet? No, I guess you're all 